This is Larry Legend of the WKA, and this is your Ringside Roundup. On Saturday night, October the 5th, live from Westerly, Rhode Island, Lace Up Promotions, in conjunction with Pride Martial Arts, presented Firepower. The WKA was proud to be on hand as the sanctioning body for such an exciting event. In the co-main event of the evening for the Lace Up Promotions flyweight title, we saw Madeline Grimaldi battle Haley Horde. This hard-hitting K-1 title bout was decided by TKO 1 minute and 56 seconds into the fourth round. Your winner and new Lace-Up Promotions K-1 flyweight champion, Madeline Grimaldi. And in the main event of the evening, a much-anticipated confrontation saw Doug Holland battle Jay Jackson. In a blink-and-you'll-miss-it affair, the bout ended 3 minutes into the first round by TKO. Your winner, Pride Martial Arts' Doug Holland. On Saturday night, October the 12th, it was time for another Lace Up Promotions exciting event. It was Next Chapter, live from Liverpool, New York at the Holiday Inn Event Center. With 14 action-packed bouts on deck, we saw James Marchek defeat Derek Green in a Glory Rules confrontation via TKO 57 seconds into the first round. Congratulations goes out to Team Andrello's James Marchek. In another exciting Glory Rules bout, we saw Misty Corset of Five Star Army successfully debut with a victory over Kathleen Weber by unanimous decision. The action was truly non-stop at Lace Up Promotions' next chapter. We saw Jim Forenzies defeat Dan Haskins as a result of unanimous decision in a Glory Rules bout. A fierce female K-1 bout was the main event as Yumiko Kowano out of Crudar Muay Thai battled Damiana Andrello out of Team Andrello. Both competitors took each other to the limit, resulting in a judge's split decision for your winner, Crudar Muay Thai's Yumiko Kowano. Finally, it was off to the Great White North, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada for ECL6 live on Saturday, October the 19th, where two WKA titles were to be decided. ECL6 was aptly entitled Fallout, and in our first Muay Thai bout of the evening, we saw Quinn Wasilak battle ECL favorite Tyson Green. A tip of the cap goes to both competitors for expertly displaying the art of eight limbs. Teeth-shattering kicks were thrown, and bone-crunching strikes were delivered. The bout went the duration lasting all three rounds. Your winner, as a result of judges' unanimous decision... Tyson Green. In the co-main event of the evening, the WKA Women's Western Canadian Full Rules Muay Thai title was decided as Megan Butler battled Stephanie Schlemiel. Both competitors entered this bout equally aggressive with the WKA Women's Western Canadian Full Rules Muay Thai title on the line. Schlemiel would not be denied in this contest, resulting in a victory as a result of judges' unanimous decision, your winner, and new WKA Women's Western Canadian Full Rules Muay Thai Champion, Stephanie Schlemiel. And the fallout was felt at ECL6 in the main event as Jerry Liu battled Deval Gravy for the WKA Prairie Full Rules Muay Thai Championship. This main event confrontation was the epitome of a back-and-forth affair. Lou was able to utilize his reach to keep Gravy at bay. Gravy, however, was able to work his way on the inside and land a few stiff shots himself. Both competitors displayed tremendous technique while in the clinch, jockeying for position and wrangling their opposition to land several stiff knee shots. The winner of the bout as a result of judges' split decision and new WKA Prairie Full Rules Muay Thai champion, Jerry Liu. That'll wrap it up for this edition of the WKA Ringside Roundup. We'll see you next time ringside for all of the action.